from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Feature Special for Monday, May the 21st, 2018. We open with more response to the United Nations Human Rights Council's call on Friday for a commission of inquiry into Israel's actions at the Gaza border last Monday in which some 60 Palestinians were killed, 50 of them reported by Hamas itself terrorists. As we reported to you, the Council passed the resolution calling for the probe, with 29 countries voting for it, 14 abstaining, and only two, the United States and Australia, voting against it. Israeli leaders rejected the call for the inquiry, saying Israel would not cooperate with it and vowing that Israel would continue to defend its borders and its people. Jewish organizations later weighed in as well. B'nai B'rith International's representative to the UN in Geneva, Klaus Netter, had addressed the Council on Friday, saying that the world is fed outright lies by Hamas, and clearly many in the international community continue to make the very harmful mistake of believing the lies. B'nai B'rith President Gary Saltzman and CEO Daniel Mariashin said just ahead of the session Friday, the outcome of this session has been established in advance. It will, it will recklessly and unjustly excoriate Israel, not its attackers, thus handing the fanatic terrorists of Hamas the propaganda victory they had sought. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley also reprimanded the Council. She said the U.N.'s so-called Human Rights Council has decided to launch an investigation into a democratic country's legitimate defense of its own border against terrorist attacks. Haley said it is another shameful day for human rights. A 19-year-old Syrian man has been charged in an anti-Semitic attack that took place last month in Berlin. Berlin prosecutors said the suspect was charged with bodily harm and slander. If you recall, on April the 17th, a young Arab Israeli wore a kippah in a Berlin neighborhood to see whether the concerns he heard from a friend about the dangers of walking down the streets of the city as a Jew were true. He was assaulted by the suspect who yelled at him Jew in Arabic and hit him with a belt, all caught on video on the victim's phone. The incident caused outrage in Germany and led to the Kippa March of Solidarity. A court in Kosovo sentenced eight men for planning to attack the Israeli national soccer team in Albania in a World Cup qualifying match back in 2016. The court handed down jail sentences on Friday from between 18 months to 10 years. The plan was prevented when Kosovo police were tipped off and alerted Albanian authorities. Israel recently completed a defense net to protect its new airport from missiles. The net is actually a 21-mile fence with, which runs along Israel's border with Jordan, beginning near the resort city of Eilat and up to the site of the new Ramon Airport in the Timna Valley. The missile defense fence is designed to intercept projectiles and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Well, the IDF welcomed its first blind officer last week. 24-year-old Hila Meuda was posted recently to the military advocate general as a legal advisor to the Israel Air Force. Meuda, who lost her sight as a child, chose to serve in the IDF despite her being exempt from service, and then studied law paid for by the IDF at Bar Ilan University. The IDF currently has 21 visually impaired soldiers in its service, but Meuda is the first to do so as an officer. A young man who posted a video on social media earlier this month making fun of a Hasidic boy is trying to make things right. 25-year-old Kwai James had filmed the video of himself mocking the boy over his traditional Hasidic appearance. The video went viral, though it was removed by Twitter and Facebook after receiving many complaints. James later apologized, saying he never meant to offend anyone, and he recently spent some time volunteering at Mazbia, the kosher soup kitchen in Brooklyn. Mazbia Executive Director Alexander Rappaport said, I have something to learn from Kwai, and that is how to sincerely apologize. I am really humbled by him. Muslim leaders took out a full-page ad in a major British newspaper last week condemning anti-Semitism. The ad ran Thursday in The Telegraph, signed by a group called Muslims Against Anti-Semitism. 
It reads, in part, we understand that many in our country empathize with the Palestinians and their right to a sovereign state. However, we must be ever vigilant against those who cynically use international issues to vilify Jews or promote anti-Semitic tropes. The ad was signed by such groups as Faith Matters and the Association of British Muslims, as well as a group that fights anti-Muslim attacks. It was praised by the Board of Deputies of British Jews as a display of incredible solidarity. The board wrote on social media, thank you. Together, we will defeat the twin evils of anti-Semitism and anti-Muslim hate. And that's the JBS News feature special for Monday, May the 21st, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader. I will be on vacation the rest of this week. Micah Halpern will be sitting in.